Well, what's going on family? Welcome to Discover Flavor. Today, we're making chicken scampi. But before we do, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications so you're notified each and every time we post. Now let's jump right into it. So we got us a red pepper. We're gonna go ahead and julienne that. Get that nice and chopped up. Here we got our multicolor pepper. <laughs> this pepper don't know if it want to be green, orange, yellow. He need to make up his mind. But we're gonna chop that right on up. And here we got some garlic. We're just gonna mince that. Like I said, we're just gonna give that a nice, uh, nice rough mix. I like nice sized pieces of garlic in my in my food. It gives it so much flavor and it melts in your mouth. When it cooks down, man, it's something else. So I love garlic myself. Let's move that over to our little ramekin. Set that to the side. I'm gonna go ahead and prepare this white onion. Just gonna thinly slice this. Now we got our chicken tenders. We gotta take this little membrane out. This little tender here. Now some some of the pieces have it, some of them don't. Alright, however you want to cut them out. It's all kinds of uh, hacks to get the uh, tendon out. I just take a sharp knife, slice through, quick and easy. Now while we're going to prepare this chicken, don't forget to go over to Instagram and give us a follow. Check us out. We have a myriad of different recipes that you might not see here on this platform. Now we're gonna go ahead and Take our prep chicken. We're gonna give these a nice old season. Now we gotta season these liberally. There's not a lot of seasoning that's gonna go into the actual sauce, so we're gonna hit it with some salt. Hit it with our Everglades fish and chicken seasoning. This stuff is good. I might wanna go if y'all if y'all got this in y'all areas, man. Go check this out. We got some black pepper. Now let's give them a flip and let's do the other side. I love this recipe. It's simple, super simple, quick and easy. And you can do it with just about anything that's in your pantry, okay? Okay, we're gonna season the other side. Now we're going to take our flour, it's about a half a cup of flour. And we just need enough to coat the chicken. We got our Everglades. We got our black pepper. Got some oregano, some dried oregano. 
some margarine. And we're going to hit it last with some basil. Now we're going to grab a fork and just kind of mix that together. Shake it up just a little bit. Now we're gonna go ahead and lightly flour, the, flour our chicken. Make sure you get it nice and covered. We're gonna set that to the side and let it sit for about a couple minutes. This what you want right here. Let me tell you. This chicken scampi is very, very delicious. Very delicious. Very flavorful. And I'm a, I'm a, I'm a true believer in seasoning on many different levels. Whereas you don't got to add a whole lot of salt. Okay. But you know, you add your, add your herbs. A little spice blend. Good to go. lightly coating the chicken and right now we're gonna take about two or three tablespoons of olive oil heat those up in the pan we're gonna get our veggies sweat it off so to sweat your veggies you're not really sauteing too much okay you're just cooking them until they're nice and soft we're gonna hit it with a little salt a little pepper I like to season my veggies too say roughly because I like to you can you can you know definitely mint sure it's a little finer than this but I like those nice little chunks just melting in your mouth as you bite into this food get it all mixed in there I wish y'all could smell it oh my god Now we're gonna let this cook down just a little bit further. I like the little pan drippings this here to make the sauce. So we're gonna set the veggies to the side and we're gonna get another pan and we're gonna go ahead and prepare our chicken. So you wanna add just a little bit more olive oil into this, uh, to the bottom of this pan because you're actually gonna be frying the chicken. Now I don't know about y'all, I know uh, when I go to Olive Garden to get my chicken scampi, it doesn't have a nice, nice crust on there. The chicken is not nice and golden brown. I like mine's golden brown, so that's why I'm making mine this way. All right. Once it's golden brown on both sides, it reached the inter internal temperature 165. You know what it is, take it out. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our butter to the pan that we cooked our veggies in gonna add two tablespoons of flour. Let's go ahead and start our roux. All bases, all sauce bases start with flour and butter. We add our dry white wine. Now I use the wine that I actually drink. Uh, you can use uh, cooking wine or whatever floats your boat. Man. All right, and we're gonna let this cook down and cook that alcohol flavor out of the wine for about two to three minutes, okay? And once it's cooked down a little bit, we're gonna go ahead and add our chicken bone broth. And that's gonna actually begin to thin out the sauce. fourth cup heavy cream I'm gonna go ahead and give that a nice mix go ahead and 
season that sauce just a little bit. And we're gonna grate, freshly grate our Parmesan right into the sauce. Cheese about to break on me. It's all right. <laughs> We're gonna add. This is about two tablespoons of uh, of lemon juice, freshly squeezed. We're just gonna mix it on up. We're gonna add our veggies right back into the sauce. And you want all that olive oil in there too. You want all that juice, all that goodness right there. Hey buddy. Give it a nice mix. And I've been preparing some uh, some water for my angel hair pasta. Family favorite, okay. We're gonna add this right to the angel hair pasta. We're just gonna dump it right in there and give it a nice mix. Straight away from the bowl, then we're gonna plate. And make sure you get sauce throughout the pasta. And while I'm doing this mix, I want y'all to consider the flavors that we, you know, we got going on here. The veggies, the chicken, the actual sauce. Okay. We get onion and peppers all throughout the pasta. Get just a little bit more. Get some more of them veggies on there. Now we're gonna hit it with a little bit more Parmesan cheese. Now we're going to add our chicken right on top of there. Alright. Slide them on on that bowl real nice. We're going to top it with a little parsley. That's how we're going to end this thing right here. Now we're going to hit this one more time. With this fresh parmesan. I can't get enough of this here. And that's it. There you have it, family. Homemade chicken scampi from scratch. Hope you like what you saw. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and hit that bell for notifications. Thanks for checking out the Skull Flavor. Catch you next time. Peace.